Hello. Okay, so we're gonna channel Arcturian, and I'm just sharing this to places. <laughs> maybe you will see this as a recording, or maybe you'll join for this transmission live. This energy has been building itself for quite some time and has been a process of breaking through many barriers. Hi again, Grandma, I love you. <clears throat> and if you're tuning in to this channeling and this transmission, it would be greatly helpful if you could share it to any relevant friends or groups that call to you. And um, that's what I'm also doing, one in particular. So thank you for joining me here this evening, this new moon eclipse portal, a very potent energy portal. Uh, I am Eli, you may know me as that already, you may not know me at all. <laughs> my human name, given name is Eli, and my spirit name is Tahawa. I am a conduit of energy from the source quadrant, the source dimensions of creation, the vibrational realms where sound is creation and creation is sound. And the initial thought of creation is to find oneness through reflection, divine reflection in balance and harmony, creating the universal flow or the universal child expanding out as each of us and all of us in divine reflection. Namaste. So welcome here to this channeling experience, this transmission from an Arcturian delegate. Um, first, I'll just say I've been encountering energy beings, spirits, and um, multidimensional experiences most of my life, as much of my life as I can remember, in different ways, a lot through empathy and seeing things in the aura and um, also sensing energies and thoughts and memories from genetic lineages and just general psychic energies and psychic pollutions as well as spirit visits and visits of energy beings and uh, ascended master type beings or light forms in um, dream states and waking states through meditation and magical rituals and uh, as well as with plant medicines and up until now these energies of channeling have mostly been translated into different works through uh, my personality and working with music, working with uh, teaching yoga, um, facilitating circles, healing circles, and um, also psychic readings and energy healing sessions where the messages are mostly translated into my personality through a resonance with the person's person or persons I'm working with at the time. So they're not generally a direct channel, although I am pretty much commonly communicating with some kind of spirit, whether it's an elemental being, a higher being of, a, of one of my guides, or uh, an ancestral spirit, or the wavelength of one's aura, the Akashic record template, or holographic resonance from a person's vibrational field. Um, most of the time I'm receiving some kind of additional information and sorting through and working through it. And in certain special energetic convergences, there tend to be these times where the mediumship takes on a, a particular form where the direct spirit comes into the body and channels through with its own person and own personality. At times I have found that to be overwhelming and uh, don't really use that gift very often. This being um, who I'm bringing in this now is named Terion. He is an Arcturian delegate that uh, came to me some years ago as a result of sort of an emotional breakdown <laughs> in a way and, and, and at the same time a psychic upgrade which was during um, an eclipse cycle in I'm pretty sure 2017 that I'm, I've been guided to understand that now is a sort of return cycle of that energy or a, a, the book end to that cycle of energy with these eclipses that have just passed. <clears throat> and the energies are calling this uh, vibration to come through in its form to bring the information that has been weaving into the vessel, my vessel, uh, for these past years as at first when this entity 
um, came to me, I found the vibration of communication a little bit difficult to understand or difficult to translate. And um, the sensitivities that came along with the communication were overwhelming as far as hearing too far, seeing too far um, in one description and not really being able to filter the information in a way that it was really useful. So I asked this being to go within a special quantum cube within a certain part of my body that kind of has a soul seat, a soul room, because I'm a multi-spirit person. And he's been there in a cube translating information, downloading information from the higher realms from an Arcturian realm that um, apparently is a 12th dimensional Arcturian realm, although the Arcturians are known to generally resonate or exist within the 6th dimension, there is a, a parent race of Arcturian beings from the 12th dimension, and I believe more of that may be explained in this channel or future channels. And first we will begin, well, as continuing, not really first, we will <laughs> attune the space and call in the spirit and call in the energies of Terry on the Arcturian delegate. So taking a few breaths, calling in your own higher power and receiving a prayer for activating the channel within you. Inviting the guides, angels, and beings of the medicines the energies of the four directions and the ancestors to be with us at this time as we cultivate light within us and activate our divine innate wisdom. Salamanta kan miteke na kiete Ui na kaietaka i agaia Enem yam anam terium irin kiat gidel nyant et ke arcturun sial sial sielet et et lenta. Greetings, it is a pleasure to be here with you. Here on this planet Gaia, it is a breath of relief to finally be able to speak from the place of crystalline vibrations to bring the informations that you have been asking for from your heart center. Isn't language quite a funny different thing? As we vibrate at many different resonance vibrations, we are calling you to align yourself with receptivity. At this time, this is now when it is the time to activate receptivity. Receptivity to the higher frequency of the dimensions of light that are coming through your body. 
At this time, we are aligning the channel Taha Wa Eli Shiva, the medicine man who sits here in the red, allowing the root chakra to ground into the sound of Mother Earth. As this being has arrived here to bring a broadcast, a transmission to the planet through this being as we know each other from dimensions beyond this planetary realm that is the beauty of life made within Mother Earth. Gaia. Aneyate boitian kutkun, ispirianterni, biepu urun to kui pakai, aperin yantimkuniat salamian, itirin yatian kurutiachi, esherin yototai tahawayan yamya, etotorum to kui takan, isgunun yam yagyayan, ekiatian iti etian yet, nyon yon biahan yam to okui. Allowance, allowance of the space to be surrounding you as the medicine within you is activated from thousands of dimensional gateways that you have already opened within your soul frequency. You have journeyed a long way to be here, Starseed, and if you are receiving this transmission at this time, you have arrived in the right place now. You have arrived in the right place now and your heart has guided you to be here. Be here with the collective of light. We come to you now with messages of transformation and messages of completion. We come to you now from the Arcturian Council of 21, the Arcturian Council to Gaia. We guide Gaia as Gaia guides us in our own evolutionary pathway. And we learn through you as you allow the evolution of your genetics to activate with the vibrations of the central sun, the source of the all that is. You may have heard many similar messages from different channels at different times, and this is on purpose. This is completely intentional. This is completely necessary. As many who do not know each other and who have not seen or listened to each other's messages will be coming into joint frequencies so that you can all receive the messages and so that you can see the commonalities between the messages and so that you can see the commonalities between yourself and the Mother Earth so that you can see the commonalities between yourself and the Father Sky so that you can see the commonalities between yourself and the star brothers and star sisters who are here to guide, who are here to walk you through the portal of life. Now is the time when you will see the stars align so that you can walk through the portal of light. The place inside you where the universe dwells is where you will find this portal of light. Allow love into your heart with infinite breath as the guides surround you. You can hear your own guides. You are a channel yourself. You are all channeling the divine source of oneness. You are all channeling the divine source of oneness here now onto Mother Earth. Mother Earth has invited you here. And if you are receiving this now, this is a reminder to step fully into your power and accept the callings and gifts that are bringing themselves to you through the various divine reflections which surround you at this time. You are feeling this energy as I am feeling this energy as the I is the great I, the great I which seeks to know itself in oneness. Breathe in oneness now. Allow the water to wash through your body. As in the beginning, all the elements were brought together in a great ceremony of creation to allow the matter, the material world, to become the place of learning, the place of observation, the place of observation of life itself growing and evolving to remember the source of all creation. We are walking this path now together, and all as one we will find this place of reconnection, of reintegration, 
allow your soul frequency to be reintegrated into your body now. Enityan suruyi selurumya kyanyan kainye terun turuyi selurumya skerehenyal alurunun surumya kielondurun irindelel Sirham yam yam turum yashteresh, eshki hrin suriaye, arntele lorun sialai, selurun solo inyanai, ihinyatarui, ihinyatarui, ihinyatarui. Open your heart at this moment and allow the message of divine to flow through you. Allow the light of truth to open within your eye, to see the great eye watching through you, the truth that is weaving itself into your reality at this time. You may think that everything is in chaos, but truthfully, everything is divinely organized. And sometimes chaos is organization. Sometimes chaos and violence are recreation. Sometimes we must simply rise above the violence to observe the creation in its glory as it expands and explodes, just like the Big Bang which created it all. The energies that have been present on your planet for so very long have been building up for too long and there are very few of you who can actually really handle it much longer. So now is the time to amplify your light and life force so that you can hold more space for this great change that is taking place now. This great change that is taking place now is a contract that you have written. And this delegate that is speaking to you now, Terion, through his partner, Tahawa, who have met many times in the star systems beyond the star systems. As that is a place, you may wonder, why is there a place that are star systems beyond star systems? Well, because there is a multiverse. And many different thoughts are always floating around in the multiverse, and therefore, we become more organized through the chaos when we allow ourselves to focus our minds on the truth of source expanding in oneness through infinite creative life force potential. Many of these energies that have been coming through your planet have been in one way or another squeezing the energy system of your being so that you can become higher vibrational. This higher vibrational resonance will sort through all that is no longer serving you and lift it up out of your body, removing it from your body to bring it up and out into the central sun. And into the central sun, it will transform into alchemical golden light quantum particles, which will then be washed upon your planet through the waves from the central sun, from the heart of the central sun, in the solar flares, which will transform the electromagnetic resonance of the frequency body of Gaia. You have monitors of this resonance known as the Schumann resonance. You may have already been following, and some of you may now start to follow, that this Schumann resonance, the frequency of the pulse of the earth, the frequency of the resonance of the earth, has been spiking and transforming and rising to resonant levels that many who have been monitoring these levels in the traditional science or conventional science of your 3D realms have been stumped by this transformation of the rising frequency of the planet. And this rising frequency of the planet is allowing you to raise your frequency. So in this time, you are being asked to receive a gift into your realms of this frequency raising into your physical self. Take a breath into your cells. Ishminyan shuru shurush, Ishminyan shuru shurush, Ininama suru shirish, Inyamyan yam shuru shurish, Ishiresh yan yan, Inyan ne shereshe, Yanurui, Yanurui, Ishiresh, Yashu waishai, Waisheshe, Esheren turui. Shero Ikayanai Kanayelo Nya Ikayanai Yano Koina Chewa
Hua hai ana hia te e te ki ana tui e te ki ana gai a ya ku ui ni a me ke wa. It has been a breath of relief to be here speaking with you on Mother Gaia. It has been wonderful to become active in this portal of the eclipse. Nyan ne shue shuro inyat ki ani tia. Ia ku tu iti ish nyan ne. You will be hearing from us again, and you will be receiving interesting informations in your dream realms if you are watching this before your sleeping time, and you will be receiving interesting informations in your meditative realms if you are watching this in your waking time. Many blessings to your journey. We will speak again soon. <coughs> Pardon me, sorry. <coughs> Namaste, Sadna. We'll see how my chicka see